Hi. Welcome to the programmer's keyboard video. The triangle. We know what hole that goes the into, triangle. right? Triangle. That's right. The square hole. What's up, guys? Sauce here. Hope your day's going well. So today we're building this keyboard right here. This right here is the programmer's keyboard. Things are gonna be different now. It's really just the programmer's keyboard because I put programmer keycaps on it. If you're not programming at home, there are substitute switches for this keyboard. But even if you don't code, this keyboard is a really comfortable keyboard to type on. You can use it as inspiration for your next keyboard build. This keyboard is the Sugar 65. The switches are the Akko Cream Black V3 Pro, and the keycaps are programmer keycaps. The silent switches are Otemu Silent Peaches. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Glad to have you here. I do have a giveaway going on on my website right now for all black keycaps. And if you join my Discord, you might be able to join another giveaway. We'll talk more about each part of the keyboard. Anyways, let's get into it. So the inspiration for this keyboard came from me being a programmer. So far, I've made different keyboards and I always try to go with a theme. I've built a cozy theme keyboard, a keyboard for my girlfriend and a candy theme keyboard. So as you can see, I really love themes and I think it gives the keyboard building process a slight edge to it, a bit more creativity. We'll talk about this keyboard from top to bottom. We'll start with the keycaps, then we'll talk about the switches, then we'll talk about the Sugar 65. If you're here for the Sugar 65, you can go ahead and skip right to that part of the video. These keycaps are cherry profile keycaps. I measured the thickness at 1.2 millimeters. These keycaps definitely feel really good and they are fun to type on. If you wanted to build this keyboard and have a deeper sounding keyboard, you could switch the keycaps to MDA, XDA, or MOA profile keycaps, or SA profile keycaps, and you might get a deeper sound than this right here. And now let's talk about the switches. This is not sponsored, but Akko makes really good switches and I would definitely recommend their switches. Uh, if anyone from Akko is watching this, if you wanna, um, especially if you don't like Lubin, Akko is a really good brand to get. Their factory pre-lube is better than a lot of other switches. These right here are the Akko Cream Black, v3 pro they're definitely similar to the Akko cream yellow i would put these above the cream yellow v3 pro and it being lubed i think these sound better than the cream yellow v3 pros as well these are five pin linear switches the colors are transparent grayish for the top housing and then the bottom housing and the stem are black these switches do come pre-lubed and it's definitely a decent amount all the other specs for the switches will be on the screen this is the Sugar 65. It's a hot swappable aluminum USB-C keyboard. They come in many different colors, but they're gradually going out of stock. So if you wanted this keyboard, definitely go look for it right now. As you can see, I messed up this plastic cover that I would use to cover it when I'm not using the keyboard, but it's better than nothing. I'll still use it. Anyway, some things to know about the keyboard is it's a RGB keyboard. It is gasket mounted and it does not come with a battery. That means the only mode of connectivity is through the USB-C cable that it comes with. And speaking of the USB-C cable, it is not braided or coiled, but it does come with a switch and keycap puller. And this tool right here, don't lose it. This is what you'll use to open the keyboard. So this is supposed to be the champagne gold version of the keyboard. I hope they sent me the right keyboard, but um, yeah, this is the gold version of the keyboard, apparently. At first I wanted the red one, but it was out of stock, so got the gold one quote unquote gold one and now let's open the keyboard we'll go from top to bottom i'll show you all the layers to it Now let's get started with this build. I'll start by lubing the stabilizers. I don't think there's enough lube on it. For my lubing process, I use GPL 205 for the plastic pieces and then dielectric grease for the metal piece.
And here's how I'll put the keyboard back together. Now I'm going to put the switches on and the keycaps. Afterwards, I'll show you the software for this keyboard. And here's the software for the Sugar 65. You can change every single key on here except the knob. It does have a bunch of different lighting effects. You can create macros and basically customize the keyboard to fit your needs. I personally like to switch my control and alt keys so I can copy and paste things faster because the control is closer to the C and the V. And after changing anything on the keyboard, remember to click the save button so it can flash it to the keyboard. And now let's get into the sound test. We'll do with lube, without lube, with lube and the tape mod. And then I'll show you the silent keyboard. As I mentioned earlier, Aqua makes really good stock sound and switches. These are pre-lubed and they do sound good. So if you didn't like lubing switches, these would be probably good for you right here. The lube version does sound creamier and I like it more, but the amount of time that it takes to lube switches, and if you don't like lube and switches, you could just stop at the stock ones and just use those to be honest with you. The combination of lube and tape mod makes it a bit more thocky. It's creamy and a bit thocky. Now let's take a look at the silent one. These switches are the most silent switches that I have tried so far. I would definitely recommend them if you want to take your keyboard into work.
And for my final thoughts, let's talk about the design first. I love the design of the keyboard. I love how it looks. And I like how Sugar 65 is engraved at the bottom. The opening process is very simple. This keyboard is gasket mounted and it's aluminum. The usefulness of the knob because I do use it for YouTube and also turning the volume up and down. And I like that. Now let's talk about the switches. These are linear switches. These are some of the most satisfying linear switches that I have tried. They're so smooth and they sound really good. And I'm really glad I picked these switches for this keyboard build because for programmers, you want every type and experience to be great. Stop! Stop right there! And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment below, what do you think about this keyboard? As I said earlier, I do have giveaways going on on my website, and free monthly wallpapers did release a few days ago. If you want to support the channel, go ahead and buy the Elite version. It's only $2. Nothing crazy, right? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.